Good day everyone! It's me again, Mario G. Duenas Jr., your mathematics teacher, tutor in this math virtual class. Today's topic is how to add or subtract fractions. To begin with, let us consider this example. So we have on the board the expression 1 half plus 1 half. Everyone can easily get the answer to this expression. We know that 1 half of a kilo plus 1 half of a kilo is equal to 1 kilo. Or 1 half of something plus 1 half of something is 1 whole of a something. But what is really the rule or the process behind this? If we consider the typical way of addition of adding the numerator to numerator and denominator to the denominator, it will result this way. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So we know that 2 fourths is not yet in lowest term. If we are going to get the lowest term of 2 fourths, we know that 2 and 4 are multiples of 2. So we can have 2 times 1 for 2 and 2 times 2 for 4. And we can cancel out 2 here, or the lowest term is 1 half. So what, what can you see in this? If you are going to add 1 half plus 1 half, having the rule, adding the numerator and adding the denominator, it will result to 1 half. So does it make sense? No, because 1 half plus 1 half is not equal to 1 half. So what is, what is really the rule behind addition or subtraction of fractions? Okay, remember, the rule in adding and subtracting fractions is only 1. And what is that? You, you can add or subtract fractions immediately when they are similar. And what are similar fractions? Similar fractions are fractions with the same denominator. Just like in here, they have the same denominator. So these fractions are called similar fractions. Okay, let's have another example. 3 fourths plus 5 fourths. As you can see, in this fraction, they have the same denominator. So they are similar. What is the rule in adding and subtracting similar fractions? We simply copy the common denominator. And then, in this, we will add the numerators. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. If it is subtraction, you subtract the numerators. So therefore, our answer is 8 over 4. Or you may also read this as 8 fourths or 8 over 4. So there are three ways to read this. But we know that 8 fourths is not yet in lowest term because we can divide 8 by 4 and your answer is 2. Therefore, the final answer is 2. So, if we are going to go back to this, and we were asked earlier that what is the process behind why it became 1. We are going, if we go back here and apply the rule, we may have 1 half plus 1 half, since they are similar, we can copy the common denominator 2, and we can add 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. And 2 divided by 2, or 2 halves, is equal to 1. That's the main reason why 1 half plus 1 half is equal to 1, following the rule of adding and subtracting fractions. For you to practice, try this and then pause the video for a while. When you have your answer, play again the video to check your work. What if this is your expression? Example, 1 fourth plus 5 six. Look at these fractions you can see that they are not similar because their denominators are different. So we call them dissimilar. So how do we solve these types of fractions? So we solve these type of fractions simply by transforming them to similar fractions. So how do we do that? Let us have the first method. The first method that I will show you today is the improved LCD. Probably in your math class, you have heard LCD or the least common denominator. So how do, make, how do we solve using the improved LCD? So your goal is to make these two the same. So think of a number that you will multiply to 4 and a number that you will multiply to 6. 
that will make them the same. Okay? So probably you are thinking of, I will multiply 3 to 4 and I will multiply 2 to 6 for them to be the same. Because 4 times 3 is 12 and 6 times 2 times equals 12. But the rule is if you are going to multiply 3 to the numerator, you are going to multiply 3 to the denominator to the numerator if you're going to multiply 3 to the denominator you're mo going to multiply 3 to the numerator if you are going to multiply 2 in the denominator here you're going to multiply 2 in the numerator here so let's have the answer 1 times 3 is equal to 3 over 4 times 3 is equal to 12 plus 5 times 2 is equal to 10 over 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Look at these fractions now. They are similar. So in this sense, we can now combine the two. Since they are similar, copy the common denominator, and then add the numerator. Your final answer is 13 over 12. And 13 over 12 or 13 twelfths is in lowest term already. Okay. Again, for you to practice, try on this. Pause the video for a while and play to check your work. Okay, for our second method, let me introduce to you the butterfly technique. This is not new, but I will just include it here for you to have a comparison with the improved LCT. We are also going to use the same expression. It should arrive with the same answer that we have in the um, improved LCT. To begin with, let us have first our the wings of our butterfly. And then let's put its head. Then for the final part, let's draw the tail. And then it's missing antennas. So for the antenna, let us have the computation 1 times 6. So this oblong means multi cross multiplication. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. And then 4 times 5 is equal to 20. And then for its tail, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. So what will be the result? So as you can see, we have a butterfly here. So just copy 6. Then copy the operation, plus, then 20, all over 24. Then for the final answer, 6 plus 20, which 26, over 24. But as you can see, we have here a fraction not in its lowest term. We know that 26 and 24 are multiples of 2. So we may have... We may factor 26 2 times 13 and 24 2 times 12. So we can cancel out 2 here. And our final answer would be 13 over 12. As you can see, the same with the improved LCD. So that's it. Thank you for listening and watching. I hope you've learned something about this video. And see you to my next video tutorial about addition of whole number and fraction uh, and using some other techniques. See you again. Thank you.